Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Today, I brought with me 10 tint colors that go well with summer. In fact, rather than saying that they're summer cool tone tints, I personally feel that they're just colors that go well with summer. So some of them will be well suited for not only summer, but also winter cool tones and warm tone people. I've selected a variety of colors from natural colors to bright colors that brighten the face. All the tints I picked are moist tints, so I think this video will be helpful for those who are looking for a cool toned, moisturizing, glossy tint that goes well with summer. First, natural colors. There are five colors and overall, these are colors that have a lot of muted feeling. Wick makes watercoloring pure tint number no. 5 Pink Me. When I first tried it on, I thought it was the brightest color because it seemed to have a slight of a white tinge, but as I applied it, the color seemed to have gone a bit deeper as the muted feeling got darker. It's a bright and clear mauve pink color with a muted feel, and it's said to be a color that will suit light tone people among those with a cool tone. Rather than a very clear feeling, I personally find it to be more toned down than expected, so it seems good for cool tone people to use as a base lip color. Daisy's Juicy Dewy Tint number no. 5 Mauve Berry. I've done a full color swatch review on this before. It's a glossy tint that feels like a film of water. It's a brighter color than Wake Make and seems to be more pinkish in color. It's a coral pink color with a calm beige added to a clear berry pink color and is said to be a recommended cool tone color. Just like its color description, it was like a berry pink color with a bit of beige. And personally, I thought it was a color with a drop of muteness mixed in. Romance Juicy Lasting Tint number no. 25, Bear Grape. I think Romance Bear Grape color is one of the most popular colors for cool tone people. I think it's a color that anyone can easily use. You might think that it's a mauve color with a lot of grayish feeling so it might be too toned down to use in summer, but personally I chose this color because it looks natural and pretty even when applied alone and when used as a base color. It's a good color for winter as well as summer. Tony Moly Scanty Tint Waterfall Butter No. 5 Moth Brew This is said to have an inverted texture that permeates softly like butter and finishes dry, but personally, it seems to feel more moisturizing. At first, I thought it looked a bit coralish, but when I looked closely, the color seemed to be a little different. It seems to have a muted feeling with the dark mauve and grayish color. Personally, I think it's a color that looks relatively lively because it's slightly more saturated than Romance. Hair Essential Fitting Glow Tint No. 126 Riddler This seems to have a naturally shiny and thin gloss and it seems to be a good buildable tint. It was good to have a clear color expression because it's a tint that can be layered well. It's said to be a raspberry pink color that goes beyond bright or vivid depending on the light. Personally, when I tried it on, the color felt really pink and it felt a bit transparent, therefore it feels clear for some reason. The more you apply it, the more vivid the color feels, so it seemed like a really good color for summer. The following are colors with a heavily pink or red and are highly saturated. Benefits Go Go Tint Benefits Tint is a tint that features vivid color and deep pigmentation. It has a texture that sticks to the skin like a water tint. Personally, I think Benefit is famous for its bright tint colors, but this color is really, really bright. For some reason, it reminds me of fluorescent pink, but maybe because it's a very bright color, it seems like it will go well with bright tones. Tony Moly Get a Tint Colorful Water No. 3 Fuchsia Fantasy This is a tint that creates a water barrier because it has a glossy tint formula rather than a watercolor formula that applies thinly. It looked like a pinkish red color with a slight scarlet tint. It didn't seem to be as bright as I thought. With a single coat, it looks like a deep red color mixed with a drop of milk. It's a pink red that gives off a lot of crimson when applied in layers, so it's a color that not only cool tone people but also warm tone people can use. Cosnari's Glow Wave Tint No. 4 Witty This has gotta be my favorite tint these days as it has been my go-to color because of how well it suits me. The moisturizing formula is not heavy and feels like a strong water barrier, so personally, I think the moistness makes the lips look very pretty. Although it's a pink color, it feels slightly brown, so it's a color that goes well with warm tones rather than completely cool tones. I think this color is perfect for those who often use colors that sit in between warm and cool tones. Romance Dewyful Water Tint No. 7, Cherry Way I've also done a review on all the colors of Dewyful Water Tint, so if you're curious about all the colors, it'd be a good idea to look up on our channel. It has a tacky formula so it adheres well to the lips. Applying on only this color, it looked red with a heavy blue tinge, but when I applied it next to Cosnari, it seemed like a very slightly blue in color. It looked like a cool tone color with a slight blue tint, but for some reason, it seemed like a deep cherry red color that would go well with warm tone people. Personally, I think it'd be a good color for winter as well. Giorgio Armani Beauty Lip Maestro Satin No. 7 and No. 8 Unlike other tints, these tints have a triangular applicator, which was a bit strange. And being a moist tint, it was one that didn't feel as it envelops the lip with a water barrier. 
Number seven was appeared to be a pink color with a lot of coral, while number eight was like a red color with a lot of blue. Both colors are highly saturated, so it looks good to use as a point lip color. As both of them are highly saturated, they felt bright. Personally, I think number seven would suit a light or bright tone regardless of warm or cool. And I recommend number eight for those with cool tones, but it seems to have a color that would also go well in winter. With that, I showed you my selection of 10 colors that go well with summer, and since they're moist tints, I'll briefly show you a comparison between their water barrier and staining. Personally, when I looked at it over time, the order of tints with most smudges was Costnery, Roman Dewyful, Roman Juicy, Daisic, Hera, Wig Make. The rest didn't have much water barrier and didn't smudge. The two Giorgio Armani beauty tints felt like there was no water barrier in the first place. In the order of staining, Tony Moly get a tint number 3. Daisic, Wick Make, Benefit, Giorgio Armani Beauty number 8, Giorgio Armani Beauty number 7, Roman Dewyful, Costnery, Tony Moly Get It Tint number 5, Hera, and Roman's Juicy Tint. Like this, I showed you 10 tint colors that go well with summer. Which color did you guys like the most? Let me know in the comments. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.